Hello everyone, welcome to the 8085 practical series. So in this particular practical, we will do two programs. The first one is as we can see, uh, store the data byte 32H in memory location 4000H. So we have to store 32 data H, that is H means hexadecimal. So this data has to be stored in 4000H. So this, uh, these are the instructions as we can see when we, when we are writing the Mac, uh, this uh, SM language programming. When you are writing this program, we have to make four columns: memory location, mnemonics, hex code, and comments. So we are starting from 8000. Okay, this is our starting memory location. We are starting from 8000. So the first instruction is LXI H 4000 H. So we are storing this 4000 H. The the first the this is the first instruction, and the second instruction is MVIM 32 H, and the last one is HLD. And these are the hex code. We can see it from the hex code paper. I will explain this program first. Okay. So I just made some uh, written it again. So this is the first instruction. Okay. LXI H is our first instruction. LXI H 4000 H. Now what this instruction will do? This will store 40 in register H. Okay. This is a three byte instruction, and this 00 will be stored here. Okay. The next instruction is MVIM 32 H. Now what this MVIM means? MVIM means MVIM means uh, just move immediate. Okay, so this instruction will store 32 in memory location. Now, which memory location which is pointed by HL register pair? Okay, now here this HL register pair we have this 4000 is here. So this 32 will be stored in this memory location. So this is how this program works. Okay, now we'll just execute this program on uh, Jubin simulator. So this is the 8085 Jubin simulator. Okay. Either we can type the code here. There is another way of doing this program is by using the trainer kit mode. So I prefer that one. So just click on view and this 8085 microprocessor trainer kit. So when we click we will get this particular window. So this is written friend. So we have to enter two things. If you see the code, there are four columns. The first one, the leftmost is the memory location, mnemonics and hex code. So in the machine we have to enter two things. One is the memory location, other is the hex code. So press the reset key then the set key so here i will type the memory location 8000 8000 okay and then i will press inr okay so this field is also open now okay now as you can see at 8000 i have to enter 21 okay 21 then inr the next location so 8001 i have to enter 00 okay then next memory location inr it is 40 then INR 36 then INR 32 then INR 76 then press one more INR now the program is entered now we have to execute the program so for that purpose we just reset okay then press the go key and then press the start memory location that is 8000 and press this execute key Okay, now the program is executed now how to check the result so because we have to check the memory location so I press the reset key okay and then uh, reset set and then memory location is uh, 4000 so we have to check the 4000 memory location where 32 is stored there or not so 400 zero, zero, and then INR so you can see 32 is stored here so that's all okay now let us do the second program okay so this is the second program our practical so exchange the contents of memory location 2000 H and 4000 H so we are again starting from memory location 8000 and going up to 8000 B and then we have the mnemonics these are the mnemonics and the hex code okay. so I will explain this program first that's what, then we will execute it okay. so this is the program okay. so I have drawn some memory locations and so we are because we will start with 2000 okay. So uh, we have to exchange the contents of 2000 with 4000. So let us assume there is already some data. We need to store some data. Of course, we need to store some data. Otherwise, we won't know what is uh, going on. So I'll just store one zero. Let us assume we have already stored one zero in 2000 and two zero in 4000. Okay. So when after executing the program, two zero will come in this particular memory location 20,000, and ten will come to 4000 location. So the first instruction explain the, the program now LXI H 2000 what it will do 
okay this is a 3 byte instruction which stores the result 20 in H and 00, 0 in L so we after this instruction we will have 20 year and 00, 0 year after this LXIB 4000 0, 0. so this was 3 byte instruction this will store 40 in register B and 00, 0 in register C okay. and then we have move D comma M now what this instruction will do this will transfer the contents of memory location M now which memory location M which is pointed by HL now this is our HL HL contains 2000 so 200 contains 10 so this data 10 will be stored in register D so this 10 will come here register D okay. then the next instruction LDAXB so what this instruction will do this will store the data from memory to A from memory to A which memory which is pointed by B and C so B means B and C both so B C register pair they contain 4000 so 400 contains 20 so this data 20 will be stored in register A okay. now because in 8085 we cannot do direct memory transfer therefore we, we need to bring them into the register now the second part will be done that is the transferring from register to the memory location now the next instruction is move m comma a now what does it mean transfer the data from register a to memory location now which memory location which is pointed by hl register pair okay so this data 20 will be stored in memory location which is pointed by hl now hl is pointing to 2000 so this what will happen this will become 20 okay so this will become 20 now now next we have to transfer the data this to this particular memory location for 4000 here but because this memory location 40,000 for sorry 4000 is pointed by BC register pair so we cannot transfer the data from any register to BC pointer but only A can transfer so what we do we write this instruction move A comma D now because of this the data from register D gets stored in register A okay so this will become 10 okay now next instruction STAXB what it will do it will transfer the data from register A to memory location which is pointed by BC register pair now BC is pointing to 4000 so this data will become so this 10 from A will be transferred here so this is what we get so then we type the halting so this is what we get is initially this was this was 10 okay and this was 20 after executing this becomes 20 this becomes 10 so now we'll execute this program on jubin simulator okay. so now we will execute the program on this simulator okay. so uh, we have to start with 8000 okay so i'll just uh, uh, reset but before uh, starting with this program first we have to store some data in the memory location so, okay then after executing we will see the change so first i'll type 2000 okay INR so I'll just type here 10 I'll store 10 here okay and then uh, one more INR okay. then reset now we go to the 4000 memory location because these are the things we have to interchange INR so I'll store here 20 okay so at 10 at 2000 I have stored 10 here I have stored 20 okay now one more INR now reset okay. now we type the program now from 8000 so 2 1 okay. next is uh, 0 0 next is 2 0 next is 0 1 okay so we go on just typing this program until we reach 7 6 okay now this we have done okay. now what we do is now execute the program so for that purpose reset go okay now 8000 and then execute okay now after executing how to check the result we reset and set this memory location to 2000 now at 2000 we had stored 10 and at 4000 we have stored 20 so here we must get 20 as so we are getting 20 here that is uh, from 4000 it has come here now let us check 4000 so reset set and then 4000 okay and then INR as you can see 10 is coming here so that's how we have done this particular program so thanks for watching.